Ten thousand costumes per night in changes, a tenor soprano duet. Pleasant the haunting slide under the isolation cloak of astral night, when she crawls like a spider, dying to watch him grow. Under his skin, she creeps. The window pane chain carried to the paradise of monstrosities breaks with a beast's agony. Flesh coming off with every abuse of a gunpowder. Napalm ghouls climbing up their sanctimonious drapes. Frail. Tortured, blurry eyes pattering against the sirens' screams, like tears fallen from the wings of invisible angels. Live feathers ruffled, listening to the abyssal writing. Call me. Each sound describes peril. Swooshing the story of blades caressing coldly bodies. Warm bodies, hot bodies, dead. Skull of the emperor. Of eternal fires rising above them, bodies, 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 full of life, against their skins, cold arrows and blades, cold chips of glass and metal, a broken mirror reflecting the might of an angel form. And they dry and whisper. Some tell on call, hoping, trekking, living and diving into waters of black. Driving themselves to the uncovering of their graves. And you can't tell of her as much as you can tell of him. She reaches the stars before her time. As the cruel disguise, as sepals, sweeps away in triumphant silence, trimmed pumpkin pie eyes. Watching her from afar with empty anger, to the knowledge of their boots, rolled chestnut seeds and riding leaves, in terse observations laying comments on the asphalt gloss, as they pass. Taking time to pay a visit to the share of macabre sweet trials. Absorbent universes taken for a walk swallow this business story, soaked in alcohol. The protection wrap. <laughs>